When disaster strikes, reliable communications can save lives. Today we are looking at a wildfire scene in which a plane has crashed. That has started the forest on fire and compromised a cell tower in the area. Search and rescue and firefighting personnel are actively involved in the area without cellular coverage. And Verizon is not immune to risk, but we can react to risk very quickly with partners such as Nokia that can help bring cellular coverage into the area immediately through aerial platforms. The network is completely out. What are we going to do? In order to provide for the safety of the personnel within this fire, we needed to restore that signal very quickly. We are flying a flying cell site that we have developed with Nokia and Verizon and it is capable of being on an unmanned aircraft at high altitude for long endurances. And in situations like an emergency response situation or a natural disaster, where traditional cell communication is down, we can fly our aircraft over an infected area and provide LTE to first responders. We can take a flying drone and get the network back up and running, even though the infrastructure is completely gone. Instead of the signal being transmitted through towers on the ground, they're actually being transmitted through the aircraft above them. The heart of the system is Nokia's network technology. The Nokia small cell is an award-winning small cell that's being leveraged across the country in many different environments. It's bringing the quality in a form factor that could be flown in a drone, a manned airplane, a tethered weather balloon, and provides these first responders the network that they need when they need it. It has on board the Nokia MBI and an external antenna in order to increase gain and direct that pattern to an emergency area on the ground. And the Nokia cellular device is now broadcasting. So we've just noticed that we now have LTE signal within the area covering over a mile and a half and able to support up to 400 simultaneous calls. Now, disaster managers can communicate with field crews Crews can communicate with each other, and everyone can respond faster and more efficiently. A flying cell site can orbit over an area for upwards of 16 hours at a time. And if we have multiple aircraft, they can change out their emissions and provide 24-7 persistent coverage over that disaster. So having the ability to replace communication very quickly can save lives. That's how Nokia's Airborne LTE small cell solution protects first responders, even while they're protecting us.